Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. And in our today's video, we will learn about urinary tract infection in children. In our video today, you will learn about the urinary tract infection in children, their symptoms, causes, treatment, and prevention. For your information, Germs and bacteria that come in contact with sensitive parts of the body will cause urinary tract infection or UTI. The UTI is a painful sickness, especially for children. The pain can be experienced in the lower parts of the body and it is most intense when your child is urinating. Infected children find urinating a traumatic necessity. It is as if the bathroom has become a torturous place for them. The infection also brings out a foul odor in urine. Several body organs compromise the urinary tract. They include the bladder, two kidneys, the urethra, and two ureters. The kidneys purify the blood by flushing out wastes like toxin and excess liquid from it. And this waste drains into the bladder and becomes urine. And when filled, the bladder looks like an inflated balloon. It can contain up to 2 liters of urine. As the bladder expands with urine, it alerts the brain to let us know that it is time to seek the bathroom. Then, when we are set to pee, the muscles at the end of the bladder loosen up, allowing urine to drain from it. Urine rushes through the urethra and squirts out of the body through the genitals. The parents may come to notice the sign of UTI affliction in their children such as when they urinate more often than usual or when they frequently get up at night to seek the bathroom. But because no one except the patients themselves can feel and keep track of the UTI when it attacks, children experiencing its symptoms should bring the matter up with their parents or guardians. The symptoms of UTI include throbbing sensation around the bladder, urethra, and kidney areas. Children also experience pain in the lower rib section indicates kidney infection. A child may also contract fever and experience chilling. And, in any case urine smells foul and more repulsive than usual, its color looks murky. In more serious cases, urine is mixed with traces of blood. Dear parents, at the sign of infection or when the symptoms of infection begin to make themselves manifest, taking the child to the doctor should be a priority course of action. The doctors will examine the infection by testing urine samples. It is important that the child, with help of parents, must put the urine sample in a clean or sterilized plastic cup to ensure that the germs not associated with the urine will not show up during examination. Germs found in the sample, unlike the millions more of germs that are known to habitat of the outer parts of the body indicate infection. Then, doctors determine infection by dipping a specially treated paper stick into the sample. And this special paper stick affirms infection when its color changes. Laboratory examination of the sample 
can also be contacted to further establish or validate the initial findings. The doctors will be guided by these examination results when they prescribe medicines, including drugs intended to put down bacteria in case of bladder infection. Kidney infection will require hospitalization for a number of days and for which medical treatment may include administering drugs through intravenous injection. The infected child is expected to fully recover from the disease a few days after taking medication. But, as a precautionary step, taking in solid or liquid food that contains caffeine must be avoided as this substance can aggravate bladder irritation. It can make the child feel uncomfortable. And our dear parents, orienting the child with proper hygiene procedures is very important to prevent recurrence of UTI. And of course, the basic steps include maintaining cleanliness, increasing fluid intake, and proper clothing. Remember, cleanliness requires taking a bath every day and washing of private parts, using wipes after urinating, and avoiding physical contact with contaminated urine. However, bubble baths can irritate the child's urethra and should be shunned. Another tip for UTI treatment is cranberry juice and water are useful fluids. Water flushes out bacteria from the body while cranberry juice wards off recurrence of bacterial infection. You have to choose clothing that absorbs sweat and body moisture. Well, such as cotton, for they help stunt bacterial growth. And parents, please remind your children that they need to change their underwear every day. And that's all for today, my dear parents. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video or you learned something, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment down below. Have a nice day everyone. Hope to see you on my next video. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.